Okay, so we're now in our third video in um, module two in college algebra, and this video should be right after the laws of removing groupings um, in any expression. So in this video, we're going to have addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. So we're going to focus ourselves in addition and subtraction now. So there's no clearer way of uh, discussing this lesson but by example. So let's have one example here. So addition of algebraic expressions, let's use this as examples and we will be trying to recall all the lessons we have learned in loss of re in removing symbols. Okay, so let's try to start this. So notice that we have four, four terms for expressions. This is one e expression, this is another expression. This is also one expression, and we have also one expression over here. So what we're going to do is to um, make make them clear. So notice that um, all everything before the expression has a positive sign or a plus sign. So again, by rule number one in the laws of of removing the a grouping, if we have a positive sign just outside the grouping, we may just get rid of the grouping itself. So this may be rewritten as so we have two sorry two x cubed minus five y squared plus two x y two x y uh, we just we can just remove the plus sign so we just uh, we know that three x cubed it's positive so just put positive three x cubed three x cubed minus 4y squared minus 7xy oops 7xy so again we use the same pattern so we this is positive but uh you just need to get rid of it so we have minus 4x cubed inside so just copy it minus 4x cubed plus 6y squared plus xy same pattern will be used here so we have a plus 5x cubed plus 7y squared plus, sorry, plus, oops, um, plus 3xy minus 8. Okay, so the thing here is we need to find all the like terms of each term here so that we can simplify and combine them. Okay, so we need to simplify and combine them. So let's make first or find all the x cubes all the x cube so this is an x cube okay this is also an x cube uh this is also an x cubed and this is an x cubed okay so meaning we, we can add all of them so if we're going to add all of them now to make our numbers better so what it what will it be two so that 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 that's it. The, the the law is if they have the same like terms, we're just going to add the numerical numerical coefficients, correct? If you can remember correct correctly and clearly. So we have two x cubed, three x cubed, minus four x cubed, plus five x cubed. So two plus three is five. Five minus four is one. One plus five is six x cubed. Okay. Um, maybe we can move it a little way better down here. 6x cubed. Okay, so next up, we need to find all the like, like terms of, how about, let's try this one, y squared. So this is minus y squared. Um, this is also a minus y squared, or just a y squared. This is also a y squared term. This is also a y squared term. So what we're going to do is to add and combine all of them. So minus 5y minus 4y so they have the like like signs so therefore we're going to add them we have minus 9y um plus 6y so 9 minus 6 is 3 this is gonna be a minus 3 because 9 has a bigger absolute value or a, a the big number 9 so we have um, minus 3 and then plus 7 so 7 minus 3 um this time 7 has the has the big number Anyways, can we make that um, clearer? Um, minus 5, minus 4. These are all the numerical coefficients of the y. Plus minus 4, 
um, plus 6 to make it clear uh, plus 7 so in essence what we can see here is minus 4 plus minus 5 sorry minus 5 plus minus 4 this is minus 9 right this is minus 9 this is gonna become minus 9 and minus 9 plus 6 plus 7 okay minus 9 plus 6 is gonna give us um, minus 3 right so big number small number big minus small 3 capital sign of the big number so we have minus 3 now so minus 3 plus 7 this is the big number right now big number minus small number is 4 capital sign of the big number so therefore the answer is the numerical uh, last the final numerical coefficient is 4 so since 4 is positive so we have positive 4 um, what's the literal coefficient so we have y squared the variable rather okay so we're done with the y squared we're going to combine now all the values or all the terms with the variable x y let's square them or let's box them this is also an x y okay this is plus so don't worry about that this is also plus x y and this is also plus x y so i think we need to combine them so um, we have plus 2 we have minus 7 we have uh, this is plus just plus x y but don't forget that there's a 1 there a hidden 1 Okay, so this is a 1, the number 1. Okay, so plus 1, since it's positive, plus 1. And then what we have is plus 3. So 2 minus 7, 7 is big number, minus small number, we have minus 5. Since it's going to be minus because um, um, 7 has the bigger absolute value. So minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4, right? Minus 4. Sorry. Minus 4. And then minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So that's going to become our answer. So it's going to become minus 1 xy. But don't forget, or rather, um, we can not write the 1 anymore. But it's very important to put the minus sign. So minus xy. Okay. And then lastly... Um, the last thing that we need to consider here are the constants. So we have only one constant in this example. The only constant is minus 8. So we're only going to write this minus 8 here since there's no other constants in, in other terms. So what we're going to do is just to put the minus 8, bring it down. Okay, and pretty much this is our answer in our addition of algebraic expressions. So we're also adhering to the to the uh, laws of removing the the groupings okay by the by the previous video so this is our final answer 6x cubed plus 4y squared minus xy minus 8 again if you have some trouble in following this um, process you may always rewatch okay moving on let's have one example also for subtraction subtraction of algebraic expressions um, so what we're going to do, subtract 5x squared plus rather 4xy minus 3y squared from 8x squared minus 2xy plus 5y squared. So what are we going to do? Um, take note of the word here. The word is from. So, you know, from. We were going to subtract this number from this number. So this should be the first number because this is the, the original one. This is our min end and this is our subtrahend. So if you're going to follow it in a linear form, we're going to write it this way then. So we have 8x squared minus 2xy plus 5y squared. And then minus, subtract this um, by, we need to put the parentheses, okay? This is very important later. You will see 5x squared plus 4xy minus 3y squared. Okay, so next up, we can proceed to our subtraction. But remember our law in removing the grouping. Notice that we have the minus sign over here. So if we have the minus sign, um, just always recall that there's a minus 1 here. So what are we going to do? We're going to distribute this minus 1 to all the terms inside this parenthesis, this grouping. 
So distribute it here, uh, distribute it here, and also, sorry, and also multiply it here. So if we're going to do that, what will be the result? Let's copy this first. 8x squared minus 2xy plus 5y squared. Okay, so we have this one where we need to we need to um, distribute so we have minus one times five x squared so it's, it's going to become minus five x squared because they are different signs here this is going to become minus four x y why because they have different signs and this becomes plus three y squared why because they have the same signs by the um rule in multiplying integers this this is both the same sign so it's going to become positive and then we can combine terms like the way we used to um, let's use our tick marks this is x squared this is also x squared this is um, 2xy this is xy this is also the xy term and we have the y squared term this is the y squared term sorry y squared term also so just take note of the number of um, underlines. By that, we can combine easily. So 8x squared minus 3x squared. So 8 minus 5. Okay, that's very clear. That's going to become 3x squared. Okay. Um, minus 2, minus 4. They have the same sign. So we're going to add them. Copy the sign, whatever their sign is. So since it's minus 6xy. And then we have... The y squares, y squared terms rather, 5 plus 3 is going to give us 8y squared. And that is our answer for the subtraction of algebraic expressions. Okay, so they're pretty much the same with the addition of algebraic expressions. Only that we just need to take care of the groupings in the first place and then distribute them one by one. And then voila, the same process is being done. Again, if you don't, if you don't get the grasp of how to do this, um, you may, of course, rewatch this video, okay, again and again and again until you can master it. And why don't you just redo it yourself? That will be better, okay. Do this on your on your own and then try if you got the correct answer or the correct answer also. And the process is very important. Okay, so that's it for our video for the addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. Hope you got it right. And of course, you can always watch and rewatch this um, in many times that you need to. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Okay, see you. And um, goodbye.